in this video let me consider few numericals on discrete time fourier transform solve following numerical with respect to discrete time fourier transform the first one is show that dtft is periodic function of fundamental period 2 pi let me consider the first one so we know that the dtft of any discrete sequence x of n is given by x of e power j omega x of e power j omega is defined as summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n this is the basic definition of discrete time fourier transform here dtft is a periodic function of fundamental period 2 pi it means that at every 2 pi the dtft function repeats let's try to prove that we know that here the frequency is omega so at every omega minus 2 pi the same signal will repeat we'll try to prove this so here we can take either omega minus 2 pi or we can take omega plus 2 pi it means that at every 2 pi the signal x of the signal dtft will repeat now i will take omega minus 2 pi so replace omega by omega minus 2 pi i can represent it as i will call it as equation 1 so x of e power j omega is replaced by omega minus 2 pi is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j we have omega is nothing but omega minus 2 pi n let me simplify this further summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n dot e power j 2 pi n so now here we can see that e power j 2 pi n so we know that e power j 2 pi is nothing but cos 2 pi plus j sin 2 pi so cos 2 pi is 1 j sin 2 pi is 0 which is equal to 1 that is e power j 2 pi value is 1 therefore e power j 2 pi n which is equal to 1 power n which is equal to 1 so therefore now i can write the same expression as it means that this tends to 1 its value is 1 therefore i can write x of e power j omega minus 2 pi is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n which is equal to equation number one that is x of e power j omega so by considering omega equal to omega minus 2 pi we got x of e power j j pi it means that dtft is a periodic function with period 2 pi so here the same steps can be followed if we consider omega equal to omega plus 2 pi so either we can consider this or we can consider this for both the things we will get the same result that is in case of if you consider omega plus 2 pi so here we will get minus j sin 2 pi so minus j sin 2 pi value is also 0 so rest all things will be same now let me consider the second example find the dtft of the signal x of n is equal to 1 3 5 3 1 x of n is equal to 
वन थ्री फाइव थ्री वन सो हियर दिस एरो मार्क इंडिकेट्स दिस इज द सैंपल एट एक्स ऑफ जीरो दिस वैल्यू इज एट एक्स ऑफ वन एंड वन इज एट एक्स ऑफ टू इट्स वैल्यू इज एट एक्स ऑफ माइनस वन एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ऑफ माइनस टू इज वन I will try to find the dt of t of this signal. That is x of e power j omega is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n. So here I can rewrite this summation as summation. n is equal to here n varies from minus two to plus two, minus two to plus two, x of n e power minus j omega n. Now let me expand this summation as x of e power j omega is equal to for n equal to minus two, we have x of minus two e power j omega two. Plus x of minus one e power j omega plus x of zero, so e power zero is one plus x of one e power minus j omega plus x of two e power minus j two omega. So x of two value is one e power j. 2 omega plus x of minus value is 3 e power j omega plus x of 0 value is 5 plus x of 1 is 3 e power minus j omega plus x of 2 value is 1 e power minus j 2 omega. So simplifying this further, I can write x of e power j omega is equal to We have five. Have here three e power j omega plus e power minus j omega plus we have e power j two omega plus e power minus j omega. So let me simplify this further. That is x of e power j omega is equal to five plus three. So we know that e power j theta plus e power minus j theta divided by two is equal to cos theta, or I can write e power j theta plus e power minus j theta is equal to To cos theta. So now comparing this expression with this expression, theta value is omega. So it will be a two cos omega. So this is two cos omega plus here it will be again it is same. That is, so similarly here it will be theta is equal to two omega. Therefore, we can write two cos two omega. So, therefore, finally, we can write x of. So, therefore, I can write x of e power j omega is equal to five plus six cos omega plus two cos two omega. This is the discrete time Fourier transform of the given sequence. let me add one more question here evaluate x of e power j omega at omega equal to 0 so in that case now you substitute omega equal to 0 in this expression we can write x of e power j omega is equal to 5 plus omega value is 0 that is cos 0 is 0 plus 6 Here also cos zero is one. We'll get 
2 that is equal to 13. Now let me consider the third example that is find dt of t of delta n and draw the spectra. dt of t of delta of n. So we know that x of e power j omega is equal to summation minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n or I can write summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity we have delta n e power minus j omega n but we know that delta n value is equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 and it is 0 for n is not equal to 0. So it means that it is defined only for n is equal to 0. Therefore we can write it as x of e power j omega is defined only for n is equal to 0 that is delta of 0 e power by substituting n equal to 0 it will be 0 or we can write it as 1. Therefore x of e power j omega is equal to 1. The spectrum if we draw the spectrum spectrum is nothing but x of e power j omega with respect to or versus omega say omega is equal to 0 here it is pi it is 2 pi suppose minus pi it is minus 2 pi so its value is always 1 that is we will get the spectrum like this this is 1 now consider the fourth example that is find dt of t of x of n is equal to u of n minus u of n minus 6. So u of n minus u of n minus 6 I will draw the sequence of x of n so that we can understand better say this is x of n it, it is defined only for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 and n is equal to 5. So this is x of n sequence that is u of n minus u of n minus 6. From 6 onwards these two signals will get cancelled will get 0. So it is defined only for 0 to 5. So therefore I can write x of e power j omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 5. 0 to 5 x of n is so x of n magnitude is always 1 into e power minus j omega n or I can write it as summation n is equal to 0 to 5 e power minus j omega n because we know that summation n is equal to 0 to n alpha power n will be equal to 1 minus alpha power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha. So here n is 5 therefore we can write it as 1 minus alpha value is e power minus j pi e power minus j omega we have n is equal to 5 5 plus 1 is 6 that is 6 divided by 1 minus e power minus j omega so this is the discrete Fourier transform of given x of n.